You've been bragging to your friends about this great guy you met that has a lot of money, that has his own condo. But you notice one thing about him. He likes to put his hands on you, and not in a good way, but in a physical way. Because he feels that because he has money, he can beat the hell out of you every night. But this is that guy you've been bragging to us about, that he's better than all us, that he's the best man you ever had. While he's beating the hell out of you, what are you really thinking? Are you thinking he's that great guy that's so fine and so beautiful and looks better than all us bums? He got all that swag and we don't. Is that the bragging you're doing now when he's knocking you upside the head? Before you was telling all your friends how all your bills are paid. But that flower and rose is starting to disintegrate. Because those bills he's paying, it has a cost. That sugar daddy you always dreamed about. You're going to have to follow by his rules or get slapped. That guy you always telling us about. That's the man of your dreams. That gigolo. Putting all the oil on his body. And you brag to all the women about that. About the do-rags he's wearing. About how he wears spandex. About how he's young and he looks good. You brag to us about it. But one thing. He's beating the hell out of you. So what do you do now? Are you just going to keep getting grabbed and punished? Are you going to keep ignoring him? If not, he's just going to keep jumping on you. And then what are you thinking? Are you thinking about the same thing over and over again that you were telling us? You were telling us that he's the best man you ever saw. He's that gigolo you never had. And now you just realize that you're in a tough relationship. You're in a relationship that you can't get out of. That rose is almost gone. That full moon, that wolf that you finally got and trapped. Now you're dealing with it. Now you finally gonna look and make that decision of what to do. Do you stay with him just so you can brag to us about how great he is? Or are you finally gonna do something that a lot of women think about? Go ahead and make that move. You're gonna pick up that knife. You're gonna end it all. But when you do that, why do I gotta go to jail for the rest of my life? Because of that idiot. Why don't I just leave? But that's so hard to do because money's involved. If you do that, you might be broke. But can you be by yourself with no money? Can you actually do it? Do you have to depend on a man? Because that gigolo made you feel good every night. But when he's beating your ass, you got something really to think about. Something to really think about as far as your future. Do you want that man to brag about to your friends? Or can you suck it up and get back on your feet and just tell everybody he wasn't a man for you? That's what a gigolo does. He can make you feel real bad. Real low. Because they're not used to women leaving them. Because when they do, it's a shocker. Because they don't think that it can happen. But if you look at Egg Dog production material, it can happen. It does happen. 1-800-799-SAFE. If you're going through domestic abuse, call that number and get some help. Bye-bye.